Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video I will show you this curious motor. The idea for this motor is from a video by Lead Motor. I think it's great, so I decided to replicate it. The particular thing that I like about this motor is that the rotor is floating. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. Of course, the rotor is not really floating Actually, it is magnetically suspended. This black ring at the bottom is a magnet and in the center of the rotor, between the two pieces of wood, we also have a couple of magnets. The polarity here is the same as the polarity in the ring magnet, so they repel each other and the rotor is suspended. This arrangement has the great advantage that it provides very very low friction so it is good for a rotor as you can see if i apply just a little push to the rotor it continues to rotate with very low friction At both ends of the rotor, we also have magnets, which is where we will apply a magnetic field to make it rotate. This is just a pulse motor and works the same as other pulse motors that I have in the channel. We have essentially an electromagnet and when the electromagnet is energized, it generates a magnetic field that pulls the magnets in the rotor and we have a magnetic switch that closes when a magnet is near so when the rotor rotates and the magnet passes near the magnetic switch the coil is energized and attracts the magnet so every half turn the rotor receives a kick from the electromagnet and this keeps the motor rotating. I will now apply power to the motor. One volt is more than enough to make it work. The motor can work with just 0.2 volts and at this voltage it draws around 2 milliamps. It only draws current when the electromagnet is turned on at each half revolution. Here the motor is working at 5 volts, of course it is spinning very fast and it is drawing around 16 milliamps.
The electrical diagram is super simple. This is our battery and we have the magnetic switch and the coil in series. Remember that when the magnet of the rotor passes near the magnetic switch, it closes and then the current can flow through the coil and then it becomes an electromagnet. Okay, so there you have it, a very simple motor and very fun to build. I hope you liked the video, thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one.